Hey, we just want to do a quick promo for our winter seminar. My topic is going to be on conditioning. Christina's got to start riding. We'll let Christina ride because basically what we're going to talk about, go ahead, you can just start pedaling, Christina. But what we really want to talk about is I think that the, probably the biggest thing in a 45-minute presentation is going to be, okay, why are we using intervals? Why are we using heart rate? Why aren't we doing long, slow distance? Why are we using, if you look up at my zone, Christina actually is, I think, appearing on that screen as ice cream right now because it's Kevin Carr's heart rate monitor, and that is his code name for heart rate monitoring. But the cool thing about what we're able to do and what we're going to talk about a little bit is, one, that we've got this my zone system that we're able to look at what somebody's actual response is to exercise. I think when we normally think, we think one, either the boring distance, you know, have a trail stuff of just being on the treadmill over and over again, or just riding steady state, or yeah, like in our case, interval training that we used to do by time. We would think, okay, you know, Christina's gonna ride hard for 10 seconds and then she's gonna rest for 20. Well, we're gonna have Christina do, let's ride hard for 10 and just watch what happens. So she's at 125. And now I'm going to let her do exactly what we talked about. I'm going to let her rest until she gets back down to 120 beats a minute, which when you look, she went up to her 80, if we look at that, 88, 89%, 91%. we got to get her to do, she's got to start doing a lot more interval work because she's way too high for a 10-second sprint. And then we're going to see. So this is what's, it's a great demo. If we had said 10 on, 20 off, She'd be thinking about going again right now. I'm looking at this and saying we may need 10 on 30 off. We may need 10 on 40 off, but we're going to get that heart rate back down to 120 beats a minute before she goes again. And that's really, I think, the essence of it is sort of the nuance of that. What do I do for athletes? What do I do for my personal training clients? How do I use this information in a situation where I'm, I'm in the gym, I've got clients, I can get simple heart rate monitoring response, I've got access to the equipment, treadmills, bikes, whatever it is. So you can see she's dropping down a little bit now. We'll let her go one more time. Well, go ahead, right there, One, 120. And if by chance you watched my complete conditioning, DVDs before you came, this is going to be a really good opportunity because it's a 45 minute presentation if we have questions, if you have things. And also, I'm going to try to hit on a couple of things that people brought up kind of after the fact that made me maybe not question but tweak things a little bit. Thanks.